What if I told you that there are certain bad habits you're doing that you need to stop? Let's hop in. Here are 5 bad habits you must stop doing. 1. Checking your phone all the time. 2. Being overly sensitive. 3. Rewarding yourself by punishing your progress. 4. Being blue-pilled, black-pilled or red-pilled. And 5. Consuming self-improvement content without taking action. If you just wanted the 5 short tips listed above, you are free to leave now. But for those of you who are ready to break out of your shells and start winning in life, let's dive deep into the shadow side. Checking your phone all the time. One of the most common habits people do, especially early in the morning, is they wake up, check their phone and open Instagram or TikTok. The second you open those apps, the urge they create to just swipe down the homepage once, twice, thrice into the great beyond where you can no longer stop it. Once you start scrolling, Stopping it becomes very difficult and it takes so much willpower to do so. It's much easier to close the app before you start scrolling than it is to close it when you start scrolling because the dopamine it releases is insane. And I mean, it's so insane you will spend hours on end scrolling without even realizing it, thinking that only a couple minutes have gone by when in reality it's already 6 p.m. in the evening. That's the attention grabbing power your phone and those apps hold. And yet there you are, constantly exposing yourself to them and wondering why you're not getting anything done. Being way too sensitive. Honestly, so many guys, especially young men nowadays, are overly sensitive to the point where they get offended easily. I say get offended easily, but even that is an understatement. Rewarding yourself by punishing your progress. This especially goes for all the guys out there who have started their fitness journey, going to the gym or working out at home. So, if you've been watching a lot of these fitness YouTubers and see them having these things called cheat meals, or you'll see them eating Krispy Kreme donuts, pizza, cheeseburgers, you see them eat all this junk food, so you say to yourself, if they can do it, so can I. And so you end up working out eating clean for like two weeks and then this concept of cheat meals or cheat days comes in and it's where you get to a certain goal you've been working hard towards and to celebrate you're going to do the opposite and worsen your progress by eating crazy amounts of sugar and processed foods. You don't need me to tell you that eating sugary foods combined with processed foods will lead to an increase in body fat. It's common sense. And everyone should know this and yet they are out here doing it anyway most of these influencers don't care about you some of them may not be bad people but very few are like that most of them are out here telling people that it's okay to have cheat meals and it's okay to eat that donut because you deserve it no you don't what people need to understand is that most of these influencers tell you this stuff because it's what you want to hear do you get it they tell you it's okay to eat donuts and McDonald's so now you get the pleasure of having cheat meals every week. Some of you even have two or three cheat meals and all those influencers get the AdSense revenue from you watching their videos all the way through since they are telling you what you want to hear. Being blue-pilled, black-pilled or red-pilled. If you don't know what this concept of being blue, red or black-pilled is, let me explain it real quick. Being blue-pilled means that you're always nice to everyone and expect to get everything you want just by being nice to people. Being red-pilled means that you're obsessed over fitness and your career, which should be amazing for people, but most of them become complete a-holes. Being black-pilled means that you go through life thinking that genetics are everything and there's nothing you can do about it. My advice for you is to not take any of these pills, hypothetically speaking, instead I want you to consider the red pill and what it stands for. Consuming self-improvement content without taking action. When I say not taking action, I mean watching these kinds of videos, learning about the things that are bad for you, but deciding not to do anything about them. In that sense, these self-improvement videos are nothing more than entertainment. Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be, be one.